actually a good actor, by the way. Even though he's got the gay. But whatever. <laughs> 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 Come over here. I'll give you the gay. Oh, no. It's <laughs> too much gay in today's podcast. It's, it's Cluster good. Edge's fault, I'm telling you. Or it's... um. You know what it is? We haven't had a yaoi couch in uh, a long time. So anyway, my mom's like, no, the other guy. And I'm like, Ron Jeremy? <laughs> and she's like, yeah. And I, she's like laughing. And I'm like, what about him? <laughs> and she's like, she's like, I went out with him. And I'm like, what the hell? Was he uh, still fat back then? I don't. I didn't get those details. But apparently he went to Queens College. She went to Queens College. Right? I think Seinfeld also went to Queens College. I don't know if at the same time. But anyway, my mom was on vacation in Florida. He was on vacation in Florida. They were on the same beach. So she went out with him like twice. And then broke up with him because he was a sleazy guy. <laughs> and, and he's still a sleazy guy. <laughs> and that, that was that. But apparently my mom didn't even realize any of this until like her friend Judy knew that he became Ron Jeremy. Apparently his name was... William Hyatt, but that's what he. Oh no, his he says his name is Ron Hyatt, and not Ron Jeremy. Uh huh. But uh, he says that's what his real name is. But my mom said that his name was like uh, Ron something Jewish, like Gold something Ski. Who knows? But I don't know. I can't. I don't know. Uh huh. But anyway, it was him. And outstanding. The funny part was that my mom told me the story, and then I told everyone I knew I got a story. <laughs> and I didn't tell him what the story was. And then I came, and they were all in the same place at the same time. And I told the story to everyone at once. And, and it, 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 it created a, a lot of suspense. You did. I remember that. I remember being pissed because you kept saying, I got a story, but it's got to wait. It's got to wait. It's got to wait. And it worked. It did. It was very, uh... I'm, you're lucky. <laughs> you're damn lucky that that story lived up to the expectation. What kind of story do you think I was going to tell? We expected you to be like, nothing. <laughs> nothing happened. I'm just screwing with you guys. Or you would have told one of your stories like, so the I, other I can day, see you all now sitting around there waiting for me to show up thinking of what the story could be and not even coming close. Not even close. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Never would have suspected Ron Jeremy. No, nope. that, that's why it was great. Eh? If I would have thought you would have figured it out, I wouldn't have given you any time to figure it out because that would have <laughs> ruined it. Because imagine if I came and I told it, right? And whether it was a good story or not, it was something you would have thought of. Huh? You would have been like, oh, we thought of that. You suck. Yeah. I'd be like, but it was still good just because you thought of that. Now I'm the suck. It could only be something you couldn't have thought of and also not the suck. So I uh, will wait for the results of that DNA test. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And that was Geek Night with Rim and Scott. Special thanks to DJ Pretzel for the music, and promotional consideration was provided by no one.